Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called Still Into You by Paramore. And it starts out with a really, really cool intro lick, actually, that kind of becomes kind of part of your chorus, where you play low E string on the first fret twice, and then we go first fret on the A, third fret on the A, and then second fret on the D. So we got one, 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 three, two. And if you wanted to, I, actually, the second time through, actually, you kind of repeat that idea, but then we go back to third fret on the A string. And then we repeat that whole thing. So we got kind of F, F, B flat, C, E, and then F, F, B flat, C, E, C. And then from there, then we, we kind of go to open D, and we do that twice, and then we go open A, and then third fret on the A, second fret on the D, and then we kind of go open D, open D, open A, third on the A, second on the D, and then back to third on the A, and then we repeat that whole idea. So we're going D, D, A, C, E, D, D, A, C, E, C, and then that kind of repeats. Now there are a lot of different ways to kind of back that up from a rhythm perspective there. And, and on that first lick, actually, it's all around an F major chord, actually. If you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord that sounds really, really happy. Now, if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the bar chords, though, you can substitute for that actually something called F major 7. When we play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum the top four strings, then that sounds like F major 7. So you can kind of back up with that. Another possibility, actually, this is something, especially if you're playing lead guitar or rhythm like in more of a rock band, you could use a power chord. <laughs> and what a power chord is is something where you're playing the root in the fifth of a chord. So on an F, if you played the low E string on the first fret and took third finger and went to the A string on the third fret, that would sound something called F5, which sounds really, really powerful. So you, so you could kind of use the F5 actually for the F chord too. And then when we get to kind of that open D lick, actually that's kind of around a D minor chord. When we play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, that sounds a D minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now, if you're kind of digging on the power chords though, you can play something called D5. Actually, there's a couple ways you could do D5. You can do it as an open D string with the second fret on the G string, and that's called D5. And you're playing Ds and A notes. Another way to play D5 is to take the first finger and go to the A string on the fifth fret for a D note, and then take third on the D on the seventh fret. So it's that same shape we were just doing for the F5, but now we're on fifth and seventh on the A and D string. So with a couple ways you could actually kind of work through that part too, actually from a rhythm perspective. A lot of times I like kind of just having a pattern that works to kind of reinforce my, my voice. And so a lot of times I'll kind of gravitate towards a down, down, up, up, down, up as, for, as a 4-4 four, four pattern. So we can take the F and just kind of try that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down. So you're just going to sing it actually. Way to just accompany your voice. And then when we get to the D chord, we have just the D minor, and we can do that same strum pattern. D minor down, down, up, up, down, D minor down, down, up, up, down, D minor down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, D minor down, down, up, up, down, D minor down, down, up, up, down, D minor down. Until we get to our pre-chorus part, and on our pre-chorus we go to a B flat major. Now, if you know the B flat major bar, you take your first finger and do the first finger for your bar, second finger or first fret for your bar, second finger on the D string third, third finger on the G string third, the pinky on the B string third. If you strum all those together, that sounds a like B flat major chord. It sounds really, really happy. But it's kind of a pain in the butt to play. So for myself, actually, what feels better is to kind of take the third finger and kind of do it as kind of a double bar idea. Right? Another possibility with bar chords actually is to take just a few strings actually and just kind of work those as a smaller version of the chord. So you could take first finger and go to the high E on the first fret, pinky on the B string on the third fret, third finger on the G string on the third fret. That would be like a little B flat major, like the, you know, the top three or the top four strings. If you're a little bit more adventurous, you can take the second finger and kind of add it in on the D string on the third fret. Or you could use a power chord. And so like you could play a B flat five instead of B flat major and you can take first finger and go to the A string on the first fret, third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you play just the A and the D strings, that sounds a B flat major or B flat five, which you could use in B flat major. Now if you're more a jazzy guy, 
Now you could kind of do like a bar on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second, third finger on the D string, third, and the pinky on the B string for the third. You play a B flat major seven. Oh, yeah. so, so, so that's another couple of possibilities here. And then from the B flat and the pre chorus, we're going to go into a C major chord. We're going to play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret. Second finger goes to the D string on the second fret. Third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum all those together, that sounds a C major. But, uh, a C major sounds really, really happy. And now, if you're digging all the power chords, though, you could just take that B flat five and just slide it over two frets to third fret on the A string and then fifth fret on the D string. And that sounds a C5 power chord. So on this particular part, actually, you may want to, and what it really sounds like in the recording is you can kind of take the B flat five and kind of work eight downs on the B flat. And what I'm doing is I'm doing something called right hand beating, where I'm taking my right hand and kind of laying it down on top of the saddle to get a muted quality out of the string. And then you do the same thing with the C, and then we go to the F and kind of end up doing another F. So I'm just counting eight on each one. So we got B flat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, F one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, F one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if you just want to strum through that though, you can have the B flat with the down, down, up, up, down, C down, down. take the chords and kind of do that same kind of muting idea and end up with kind of a bigger sound with your muting. Kind of depends on what kind of option you're looking for as far as playing it out solo. So you may want to take little pieces of what I'm throwing at you and kind of grab something you like and run with it. But then from there we'll be going into our chorus part which actually starts the same way. We do the B flat and then a C and then we do the F and then we do another F and then we go back to B flat and then we do a C and then we go to F and then we do another then here comes the change. We do a B flat, and then we do a C, and then we go to a D minor, and then we go to F, and then we go to B flat major, and at least on the first chorus, there's kind of this big hit on C where you may even want to do kind of a down and kind of kill it on the C chord. So sometimes I like doing that kind of for accent purposes, but actually that can be really effective, especially with, with your voice going on. So we could do that with, with just the power chords of muting. We have B flat, C flat, F flat. Or you could just strum through it, and then you have B flat with down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down,
actually right after that we're going back to our pre-course, you could go back to the muting and actually, you know, you're just kind of throwing different ideas at you. But if we kind of took that that bass idea and just try the pre-course that way, you have the B flat with an A bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, down, the bass down, up, up, down, down, the bass down, up, up, down, up. And through this part too, actually, especially if you're kind of working off the muting, you might want to think about kind of opening it up different points to kind of get some cool energy to go into the next sections. Because <laughs> then from there we're going into our chorus part. So we tried that bass idea through our chorus. We have B flat with an A bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, down, low E bass down, up, up, down, down, low E bass down, up, up, down, B flat with an A bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, down, with a bass down, up, up, down, down, with a bass down, up, up, down, B flat with an A bass down. Now there's another like little variation on that F lick that turns up in the bridge where you play low E string on the first fret, third fret on the D string twice, and then we go to second fret on the D, and then third fret on the A string. So that kind of becomes like the F riff is that one. F, 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 E, C, F, E, F, F, E, C. And then on your D, actually we're going to end up playing open D, and then there's this cool little move where you go second and third on the D string, and then we play third on the A string. It's kind of a C note. So you got this little F, 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 E, C, F, 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 E, C, D, E, F, C, if you want to kind of throw those licks in. Oh, hey, Ralph. Yeah, so you can kind of throw those licks in. And the, the chord progression through our bridge part is kind of the F and then F, and then we do D minor, and then we do C. So we try that with our strum pattern, and then we have F with a down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, left, down, down, up, up, down, left, down, down, up, up, down, 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 Another cool way to is just to play the lick, <laughs> which can be very cool too. And then from there, wait, wait, we go into a kind of a double pre-chorus part. And you can do that with the muting, with the B flat, C, F, F. Or you can do it with the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the bass down, up, up, down, up. And then we have B flat with the bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, F with the bass down, up. there we're going into our last chorus and, and our last chorus is a little weird actually right after that B flat C D minor F change we just alternate between B flat C B flat C B flat C and then kind of hit a big F at the end so we tried that with our power chords we'd have B flat C in the recording but for me if I was playing that live I would hit a big F at the very end so people would know where to clap so we tried our chorus with our bass notes we have B flat with an A bass down up up down C with an A bass down up up down F with low E bass down up up down F with low E bass down up of how you could strum through Still Into You by Paramore, so good luck!